Major road in Sokoto metropolis are empty with scanty vehicular movements. This is attributed to the fuel scarcity being experienced across the state. The fuel scarcity is biting harder here in Sokoto as a liter of fuel is selling for 2,500 Naira. Most filling stations in the metropolis are under lock and key for lack of product to dispense. These are subjected commuters to untold hardship. Many trek long distances to their places of work and they are calling on government to intervene to bring the situation under control. Suffering like this is very bad. Let the government come out and look to this issue. Look at people lined up. Imagine the tanks have not come out. They, they had information that the tank is in Guzo. Imagine, look at the line. It's very bad. Let the government look into this issue. So far, so good. I've even parked my bike. You can see now we have to do economic. If you have two friends, you park one, you manage one bike, contribute money and get one liter and what, move on. What would... Most filling stations in the metropolis are shut down, claiming that they lack product to dispense while black market operators are having a field day. Some operators of the black market in the state justify selling at 2,500 naira per liter, saying getting the fuel from the interior part of the state is tasking and come with a lot of leaks. People are buying, but they are complaining. But I know if they are aware of the risk involved in this business that is taking us to bandit infested areas like Isa, Sabanbrini and Wurno, they will appreciate the price of 2,500 per liter. The black market operators are even helping the people since all the major filling stations in the state decided to lock up their stations. The filling station, and as of yesterday, Iran was uh, 740 Naira. And in other filling stations, you can get 780 Naira. But in the black market now, it's 2,000 per litre. The situation is getting worse by the day as commuters are apprehensive, expressing fear the situation may deteriorate further. Some commuters are already joining queue at filling stations where fuel supply is expected. Residents are calling on the government to find a way of bringing the situation under control. Suleiman Nasser, RIS News.